I am in my third trimester and this is really exciting because I'm somebody who dealt with irregular menstrual cycles, cysts on my ovaries and mild PCOS. And so ever since that started happening in 2020, I've had this fear around being able to get pregnant and fertility in general. Prior to even starting to try to conceive, I started thinking about preconception health and fertility health. And I took a very holistic biohacking way of thinking about this. I really wanted to go above and beyond in order to optimize my health before we started trying to conceive. And one of the things that I looked at was red light therapy. Now the ovaries are very, very mitochondria dense. They actually have the most amount of mitochondria in them in the human body. I think it's about 100,000 mitochondria per cell. I knew that anything that would boost mitochondria and support mitochondria would be able to support the mitochondria in my ovaries and therefore help with cysts, irregular cycles, PCOS, and obviously fertility. That's where red light therapy came in. I started using it a few times a week and I love the device by Kineon. Literally just put it right on my ovaries while I was actually working. I would do it a couple times a day, about 10 minutes each, and I knew that based off of the science on how red light therapy works, it would support the mitochondria directly in my ovaries. I was actually very happy to announce that I got pregnant on the very first try, despite PCOS, irregular cycles, and cysts. I'm so happy about that. And honestly, red light therapy was such an important component of this. If you're somebody who is trying to conceive, struggling with PCOS, endometriosis, irregular cycles, any type of these like very specific women's health issues, red light therapy can be so, so fundamental on your health journey. And think about incorporating it a few times a week like I did, 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, and see how it can really help you by supporting your cells from the inside out.